welcome back to another video in this one we will look at how to allow the users of the application to add in operating systems without going into the admin like what we saw in the previous videos if you want to add in these fields or the elements in this field you would have gone into the admin to add the operating system and then it will appear here so we don't want users to go through all that long process and some users might not have the rights to log into the admin so we want to make a settings button where every user who have the right to input data will be able to have um, access to this and then add in the operating system right from here and click save so now once i go back to copy the entry and click on the operating system field you can see the new operating system so right here okay and as usual you'll have all the codes in the block side so if you're not yet a subscriber please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification so that you will always be notified once i upload a video all right step number one is to create the operating system forms and this is the form that we'll be using to input data in the operating system table from the models we'll have to import operating system and forms.py open forms.py right up here for models import operating system so this is the model that we are importing so right here this is the model that we're importing in the models of py import operating system model and then now we can create a form using that model so copy this code and paste it right here all right save it all right so next step is to go to views to py and create a settings view this is the form we just created the operating system form we want to import that in the views to py from the forms import computer form computer search form and then operating system form then we'll have to create the view so i'm scrolling down and paste it right below all the other views so the settings view will render settings.html template and that means that need to be created so that's what we're going to create next copy this code right here and this is just part of the code which is displaying just the form so what i will do is i'll take any of these um, templates that have all the bootstrap stuff and the js stuff so i'm gonna um since it's gonna be uh, used just to input um, data and this also used to input data i'm gonna save this as that html and then i'll replace the jumbotron so i make sure it's easier for you to know exactly what to replace so the code that i just copied was the entire jumbotron so that we can just come and paste it right there so what i did was to just select the jumbotron i can delete it and then paste it right here but i'll have to indent it a little bit in all right save it and next is to create the urls to take us to that um view so in urls to py maybe right here just paste the settings url so if you go to slash settings it should run this view for you and let's see how that works so now as at, at this stage we can now um use the uh url to be able to input data in the operating system table so now if i type settings i should be able to have the link or i should be able to have the form to be able to input data right in the operating system so now but what we want to do is to add the url or the settings button right here so that it's easier for us to just click it and then it will bring us to this view all right so that's the next step to do 
I head back to the blog and then copy this code right here so now the reason why I'm doing this thing in um, Nava is so if I am in uh, you can paste this code almost anywhere like where you want the button to appear but in my case I want the button to be in any of the uh, wherever I am I want to be able to go to settings so so at this stage of the, the, the application the only reason I will click on the settings button is if I want to add in the operating system but let's say now the application is now scaled up and we have a lot more settings to do in the settings section we'll want to make sure that the settings button is available at any section of the application so now if in this case if I put it right under the entry so like if I restrict users from being able to click on this button they will not be able to go to settings as well if you have other things in the settings view you might want the settings button to be maybe at their home button or maybe somewhere where users can have easy access to so that's the reason why i always put it at the nav bar but because i don't want it to be right up here so i have to start it so that it will appear right below the bottom of the application so i'm gonna paste that code in navbar.html so right below the nav i'm gonna put it here so i don't want it to appear if the users are not logged in right so that's why i have to say if request the user is authenticated then the settings button will appear if not it will just nothing will be displayed on the application okay all right so save it and then refresh all right so you can see the settings is appearing right below the nav bar right here. So now if I click it, it will, be, it will work. But now what I want is to uh, style it so that the settings will be somewhere around here. So I've put all the codes here. And what I'm doing right here is to give it a background color of um, the snapper. I'm gonna give it a, a text of white and then the rest um, I just some bunch of CSS code like the padding and then the styling and stuff like that okay so now the hover effect like when I was at the intro of the video you can see that this change bar was somehow hitting on the left of the application so when I hover over it it zooms out or it it um, transitions out and then display uh, fully so this is what the WebKit transition is doing and it's gonna take over five seconds to do that transition so it depends on how long you want the transition to take so you can define the settings right here let's copy from here right down and then put it in the stylesheet.css so that can be found in static files stylesheet and paste it somewhere around here and save it now if I head back to the application and click refresh all right so you can see how the setting is transitioning in and out of that corner all right so I think this is a nice effect all right so this icon I already have it in the in the IMG and that's the icon right here all right so the settings of png what you do is you can go to google and then search for whatever kind of icon you want to use you can search um uh, an icon and then um place it right here in the navbar so if you look at the settings of the navbar you can see that right here the text will be displayed which is settings and right after that you have the icon okay so this is the image that is giving me that gear symbol right so download any image and then upload it in the Django apps and then go into static files and in static files I ho hopefully you've created this IMG folder and then you can paste it in there all right so save it and then refresh you should have all that effect happening in your application so now we can do the testing by going to settings 
and then type it operating system and then click save all right so if i click on add computer or complete entry and click on the operating system section you can see i have windows 8 showing right here in the next video we'll see how to wrap up this application make it look so much more professional host it online and then see our app running on a live web server all right so if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up if you have any questions put them in the comments below otherwise see you in the next video